Okay, hello everyone. I'm here today with Jean Francis, and she has a company called Shift Business Solutions. Jean provides virtual assistant services for busy entrepreneurs, and she actually has a virtual assistant agency where she has a team of virtual assistants who will help you run, run your business pretty much, right, Jean? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. We'll All right. Yeah, so tell us about your business. Um, tell us what you do exactly. How do you, exactly do you help clients? We are kind of a one-stop shop in operations and strategic development for entrepreneurs, small to medium-sized business. A lot of times um, when you get people who start businesses, they're really good at what they do, but that doesn't mean that you necessarily come with a whole bunch of business acumen and knowing how to run a business. And as so many of us out there are entrepreneurs in our own right, you learn very quickly how many tentacles there are <laughs> when it comes to running a business. And so we come with a lot of experience. We're well-versed in the tools. We're well-versed in the processes. And so we're able to step in, build strategies, um, not only for working, but for growing, and then execute those strategies. That's great. So what type of businesses do you work with? I will work with anyone who is passionate. I prefer to work with women. I focus towards women. Um, because I'm a, a very big champion of women in the workplace and women entrepreneurs are a, a, have a special place in my heart. But the main thing to me is it, I like to work with people who are passionate. Um, you will rarely find me working with a dentist or a construction company. You'll find me working with coaches and you'll find me working with people who are doing um, uh, learning, career transition, people who are activists, people who are, are out to sort of make a difference in the world. Awesome. So um, tell me about um, how did you start your business um, and kind of tell us the progression. How did you grow it to where it is? So right now, uh, I know you started out as a solo entrepreneur. You are the only, you are a VA. And mm -hmm. then as you started to grow your business and you got more clients, you started to outsource and now you have a small team of people. Mm -hmm. So, um, and also um, Jean was in uh, my course, which is called Launch Your Online Agency Course. And so we worked together one-on-one -on -one as well. And she took the course and now she's implementing a lot of what I teach in the Launcher Online Agency course. So tell us about that progression and how did you scale to where you are now that you have a small team of people? Okay. I am, um, I am a completely accidental entrepreneur. Uh, I never intended to own my own business. I never, this was never in, in my cards. I started out in corporate in learning and organizational development. And that's where I was until 2008. And I was all about climbing the corporate ladder and getting up to the C-suite and, you know, having, having the CEO or the CLO letters behind my name. And after the recession of 2008, that just wasn't going to happen. So I decided to look at strategy and I decided to go back to school. And in order to do that, I needed to have work. And that's where I started working as a VA because I knew business. I knew I could do this. And that is when I discovered the passion and the innovation of entrepreneurs and of small business owners. These people who have, you know, turned their back on maybe doing things the, the common way and have decided that they're gonna do something their own that's fulfilling for them. And that, that was just absolutely outstanding to me. And I thought, well, I have a lot that I can offer these people because I've played with the big dogs. I know how the big companies do their business. And that was something that I felt would be of value to these people coming in. So after I did my PMP cert and uh, I did some agile study, um, I left doing just VA work and struck out on my own. And it, I was still a one woman show for a, a long time because I would outsource here and there, but I, I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to make that transition, you know, how to give away um, what needed to be done while still managing getting the client work done. So that was one of the main reasons why I looked at the build your own, build your online agency course is because I knew I needed, I needed a roadmap. I needed a little bit of, of guidance. I help businesses every day grow and become more, but sometimes you can't do that with yourself. You have to have a, a step back for a minute and have a different set of eyes to be able to look at what you're doing and say, oh, okay, well now I understand I need to do this first and then I need to do that. And someone who is looking not at the usual type of build your own business, but specifically building an agency, specifically building internal silos and workflows 
and the process of doing business in this way and the process of the transition, which is really the most daunting thing for me. So it was absolutely incredibly valuable. That was a, a big piece for me. Awesome. So how have you been implementing what you learned um, from the course? Because the course is all about scaling your business and, and not being a one woman show. Um, and I know Jean is really passionate about what she does. And she's an awesome, um, you know, mentor in her own right. And now you have a team. So how did you implement that and kind of like build out your team? And I know you're still building your team as we speak. So I'll be building my team forever. I'll, I, will, <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm ever going to be finished, so, so to speak. Um, but I think the, the most valuable thing that I really got out of it was the workflows. There's this section in the course where you talk about the different ways to set up the, the business. So, you know, you have the client and then your old contact and then you have a project manager or a lead VA and then it breaks down from there. And so that organizational structure was extremely helpful. Um, probably the other really incredibly helpful thing is the standard operating procedures, getting things into templates, getting checklists, getting things ready so that when you have a new client come in or you have a new VA or team member come in, you just hand them their packet or in this case, you, you, know, you hand them their, their Asana project, their onboarding project and say, okay, go through this. And when you, when you got that, then, you know, you, you'll have your sense of training. You can refer back to it at any time. You can add to it. Um, and that has been incredibly helpful. Um, one of the main reasons I, I stalled a little bit when I first started taking the course, I didn't like jump out and start going for clients right away because I wanted that infrastructure. And that was sort of one of the big things that was missing for me was that infrastructure. And now that I have that, I am able to spend so much more time focusing on getting clients, on closing clients, on improving the website, on building my lead magnet, um, and working at that aspect of the business instead of saying, okay, I need to do this for the client and I need to train a VA on this before I can give this job away. And no, it's already done. It's done. And so taking a little bit of time to build those operating procedures and to build that onboarding process was absolutely fantastic. That's been a, a real game changer for me. Yeah. So let's talk about this extra time you now have. Um, as we last spoke, you did mention that you recently closed a new client. Mm -hmm. So how was that process of you feeling like, okay, now I can let go and just focus on sales? Because we talk a lot about in the course, the process of scaling means to do exactly what Jean just did, talked about. She set up the systems and processes so her team could run with the work. And now Jean has free time to go and close more sales and find more clients and really expand and grow her business. So tell us about, uh, you know, your process now for your sales. Um, what are your strategies? You know, just also for people who are interested in growing, they're kind of like looking at you for inspiration. So <laughs> I am really fortunate in that I have a very strong referral base and there are a lot of different places that you can go and look for potential clients. And for me, I've done very little marketing because my referrals are just that good. And that's because I have an extremely strong network. So if you have not already built your network, that I think is something that you absolutely definitely need to do, um, especially within your own niche. And so let's say you're a VA or your social media manager, you want to know other social media managers, absolutely. But you want to spend time with the people who are your ideal clients. You need to get into their LinkedIn groups and you need to participate. You need to read about what their pain points are. And so you can be part of that conversation. And that's going to teach you a lot of how to address when you know what they're griping about in their groups. Well, then you can figure out how to solve it. And that is how you start to, to build those relationships. So LinkedIn has been a really big place for me. I'm starting now to get into uh, Facebook groups, which is a fantastic resource that's also part of the Build Your Own Agency. Or is that is that GPN or Build Your Own Agency? Launch your, on, launch your online agency. <laughs> 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 You're mixing up course names now, Jean. I am. I am. It's because, it's because I'm, they're all in the same, they're all yeah. in my same teachable. And so I just, oh, I'm, I'm going to Alma's folder now. I'm just going to go in there. Yeah, Jean, um, Jean actually is a student of also of a membership site that we have that I have, which is a Get Paid Network. And so when you join GPN, you get all these other trainings. And then she also joins the Launch Your Online Agency course, which mm -hmm. is specifically about growing a team and outsourcing. 
So yeah, that's just so everybody else knows too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. When, you, when you put them all together, you, you get like this incredible resource of pretty much anytime I have a question or I'm not sure what I need to do or I don't remember, it's, it's all in my you know, my, my Alma teachable folder where I can go in and, okay, it's, it's either going to be in, you know, uh, launch the agency or it's going to be in, in GPN. It's going to be one of the two. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's been a, a huge help getting into the Facebook groups and starting to network there because I've been, I've been in the VA groups for a while, but I've never done, um, a lot of the job boards and I've never done a lot of, um, some of the things that I've done with, you know, getting into groups with female entrepreneurs and um, getting into those types of groups and finding out where I can start to market subtly in there as, as a problem solver. And that when you are in groups like that and you're networking that way, that's the way that you have to network. You can't come in and wave your flags and say, well, I have this service and I have that service. And you have to be generous. You have to give. And so you give advice. You take a mentorship type of role of, you know, I've seen this problem before and here's a solution that I saw that worked and maybe you should try that. And you start to build a reputation as, oh, this person is really helpful and they know what they're talking about. Maybe I'll go talk to them. And then once you start to have that relationship, that's when you can start to say, oh, I do this for a living. This is my business. Visit my website. And so that's, that's how those networks start to build. Yeah. So um, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how um, you and I work together a lot as you've been a part of the Launch Your Online Agency course, which is also I do one on one coaching in that program. So me and Jean have worked together um, and she gets my mentoring and support and we still talk. Uh, so I'm always happy to help Jean. Um, now, let's talk about something that's really, really interesting, which is what I teach in the course, which is um, I basically work with Jean. I looked at her, um, her team how she had it organized and we created a plan to help her uh, really stop working in her business by creating other leaders in her mm -hmm. team. So can you talk about that process and how are you experiencing that? Cause that's a really, it's a beautiful process cause you're kind of mentoring other people to take over. Mm -hmm. Right. And that is what we do with scaling. If you want to grow an agency or a, a consulting firm, Eventually, you're going to have a team, but you also need to mentor and coach some of those people to become project managers or managers in your business. So what has your process been? How do you feel about it? <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. That's, it's so dear to my heart. It really is. Um, because I, I don't hire just, just women. You know, if, if I, it's, it's like the clients. You know, if, if a, a man comes along and he has you know, if he's the right fit for the job, then he's the person that I'll hire for the job. But on the whole, I tend to, to lean towards women because I like to help women entrepreneurs and everyone that I bring in, they're independent consultants. And so they are entrepreneurs in their own right. And so it extends that, uh, that sort of passion that I have for being able to build women up. And the lady that I have now, who is my VA manager, who has become my, my absolute second in command. I, I cannot live without her. She is from the Philippines. She's a young mother and she is incredible. She is absolutely incredible. I found her on Upwork and it was completely fantastic that, that we met. Um, she has stepped up. She's really taken over a lot of things. She helps manage uh, my other VA and helps she comes in and does uh, client calls with me so that she can take notes so anytime I don't have to be the person chasing after people to make sure the quality is correct to make sure that the context of tasks are correct that you know she she does it she just does it and it's been absolutely fantastic to be able to bring her on in that type of capacity to scale her pay, to be in a position where I can scale her pay as well. Um, and we're to the point now where we are working to get her full time with me so that she works with me exclusively. And that's, that's really, I think that's my exciting next step um, is I am, I've taken, I've taken some advice from Alma actually that I'm not hiring a new person right now. I was thinking, do I need to hire an, another person? And she said, you know, maximize the people that you've got. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm maximizing my two people to the best of, of capacity and handing as much as possible off on them. New clients that come in, I don't do their client work at all anymore. It just goes straight, straight to my VAs. 
So yeah, she's been a, a real big help with that. And that type of scaling, I know as I continue to grow, I can depend on her. Um, and even if she needs to leave, if she decides to, to go and do something else, I know that I'll be able to take what she's built and take what she's, she's done um, and bring that on to the next person. That's great. And that's wonderful. And that's really what it, what it is. It's all about scaling your business. Mm -hmm. And Jean really took what I taught in the Launch Your Online Agency course and applied it. And now she's, you know, just doing great now. I mean, just, I, just, you're like another person. Like when we first talked, she was so stressed out and like overwhelmed. Like now she's like, yes. I'm on vacation now. Oh, yes. it's, <laughs> it is ama it's amazing that I still have this much hair that I haven't like pulled it all out because I was so stressed. I was to the point, I mean, I was getting to that, that burnout point. I was sitting at my little desk every day thinking to myself, I'm miserable, I'm, this is terrible, I, I, there's not enough of me, there's not enough hours in the day. And I just needed that little bit of, of guidance. I needed that perspective shift of someone to, you know, stand over and say, you know, okay, let's, let's untangle this for a minute and think about it logically and give you a, a bit of a process. And that is such I think a valuable thing, not only of the courses uh, that you do, but also of the the groups, the groups that support them and meeting these other people who are involved. You know, when you're in, um, uh, do you're an agency that there's the Slack group um, and then there's the Facebook groups and there's all the, the uh, little conversations and comments that happen when you go live. And it's such a strong community of people who are all, rooting for you and who are all in the same sort of boat and you get the perspective of seeing someone who might be struggling the way you were two weeks ago or three months ago and you're like wow maybe I have really progressed and you get a chance to feel good about yourself and turn that around and give back to them and yeah it's it's wonderful. So what is uh, next for Jean? And <laughs> hustle hustle hustle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're in full hustle mode now um so i am looking to grow as much as i as i can um i really want to be able to start doing more uh sales funnels and that's kind of going to be the next place that i go with training my team as well i've got someone really well trained for social media marketing the next thing i'm going to train them on is sales funnels so that when those start to come in we can just really start to to go out with there um, we've just, the newest client that we started is uh, a GoFundMe client, which is an awareness campaign and the team hasn't done one of those before. So I know that's going to be a, a big learning experience. So it's really going to be about diversifying exactly what we can offer and continuing to grow those internal systems as a team so that one, we can go get more clients and, and do more types of work. And two, so that when it is time to bring the next person or the next two people in, they're set and ready to go. Awesome. All right, Jean, thank you so much for taking your, for taking some time out of your busy schedule to talk. Thank you so much, Alma. This is wonderful. You're, one, you're welcome. Where can we find you? You can find me at um, www.shiftbusiness.solutions. Um, that's the website. And uh, you can take our pain point assessment there and get some idea of what might be the best place to start uh, to do some work on your business and how we can help. You can set up a discovery call with me there and we can work on a strategy. Um, and that's, yeah, that's probably the best place to find me. All right. Thank you so much, Jane. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too.